Yes, we're safe. We're in the Premier League next season. And the Magans are fucking shit in their pants. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Alan from the All Aboard the Toon Roller Coaster page. Give her a like on Facebook, follow on Twitter at Pods Boys. Also, how you subscribe on us on YouTube and uh, leave any comments, any topics you want us to speak about below. Uh, yes, I would like to just make this public. Lelas, that's all off at Sunderland because them are selling the fucking shit because I haven't got the quality. We have turned out we have. There you go. There's a lot of matters out there, child. Yeah, especially at. Especially at work, when everyone goes, Woo, hi, oh, you're below it, you're on the shit, you go to fences, you get with one sh sock suit and with cheesy fucking chips. Well, fuck off, because we's keys are fucking these keys. Um, anyway, moving on to the match, great result, 2 1. Should have killed him off a little bit more, I would say. Um, you know, at times we did sit back and pass a ball about a bit, you know, or in triangles when we were 2 1 up. Uh, the penalties, the first penalty for them, it was suggestions. It was outside the box, a little bit like outside the box, but it would have been hard to see. I'll give the referees that, give them the benefit of the doubt, I suppose. Um, this rare occasion. Also, the penalty we got was the Stonewall penalty. You can't go around trying to take a lad for the whack. Because you look like he's, come here, come on. You know, you can't do that in football. Sorry. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a penalty. Well done, uh, Gufran. Um, pouncing on that mistake for QPR. By QPR, I should say. Yeah, he done really well on that. Uh, great that he dedicated the fans, coming a quick cra uh, fan favourite. Uh, I think he's a good player. Uh, and a bargain price, you know. So, hopefully he'll come leaps and bounds next season. Uh, but now we're safe. I think the board... Get the Arsenal game out of the way. Big, mass, massive fucking hill to claim against them because they're still chasing Champions League football. So, uh, it's going to be hard, that game. Um, but, you know, it's Newcastle United. You never know. But uh, after that, post-season post, uh, analysis is need to be done by the board and management. Uh, learn from the mistakes this season. Being, you know... We never had a big enough squad to cope with Europe, so there needs to be a, a reviewing of that and maybe just get some targets sorted. We need now a straight at, you know. Uh, I think we need some centre backs. Hopefully, we'll keep a hold of his star players like Bay and uh, Ben Arthur. And hopefully, the big one with Colaccini, because you know, with Colaccini being in the team, um, you know. He's made a difference because he's a good leader and he, the team looks more, uh, I would say, more shaped to it, you know, instead of looking lost. Like, look at Liverpool when they're picking the, the, the defence on holiday. You know, I call a cheese game and then, you know, brought some solid solidarity back. Um, so, I think we need to review this. I think there's going to be a big eye open on the way for the club with the big survey from the Chronicle. And now the club will be looking at looking at that, see what the fans think. But before that, I think uh, Friday, between 7 and 8, uh, Nick Lewis on BBC Radio Newcastle has Alan Pardew on to speak to some of the fans, uh, to get the thoughts and opinions and feedback, I think. Because, you know... He said a few weeks ago you'll answer the fans when safety's uh, sorted. Safety sorted. Now he's got to face some music. Uh, maybe some of his tactics will be questioned. Hopefully his tactics will get questioned. Hopefully I might get on. I don't know yet. See what happens. Oh, pods. Um, hopefully, you know, people will get through may criticise this the, the one up front which doesn't work. So hopefully um, we'll uh, get some good feedback there. Uh, so just remember, Friday between 7 and 8, BBC Newcastle, Alan Pardew's on on the phone in, so just tune into that and see what you think, and I'll no doubt to be a bit more listening, I'll do a video after that uh, to let you know my, my thoughts how that interviews went. Um, so, you know, I think it's great, 
but we need a review, we need to learn from their mistakes, we do, and if we didn't, we're daft. Hopefully next season we'll come as a bigger, stronger side, and challenge for the top half of the table again, challenge for Europe again, and you know, just learn from the mistakes, you know. But that's what that's what we need. We need. I think there'll be a little bit of soul searching in the, uh, this summer with some of these players and the management and maybe the the, the club as a whole. You know, a bit of soul searching what's actually went wrong this season. So yes, great. We'll all need to you know celebrate. Uh, and now the match, Elliot's been sent off. I'm not the biggest fan of Rob Elliot, as you all know. But now we need to go into this match and give Stevie Harper a good send off. For the, being a great servant of the club, so let's give him a good send off. Uh, and also, I would just like, like to say, well done to Newcastle United for getting safe and just learn from your mistakes, please. So I'll just leave that there. Um, just give a like on Facebook at All the Border Two Roller Coaster page. Also, give a, a follow on Twitter at Pods Boys. Give a subscribe on YouTube and just leave any co- comments of any topics any opinions you want uh, you know I'll hug this out there do you want Pardew to stay do you want him to go who would you want to see come into the club to replace Pardew if you want him to go there's a question for you give us some feedback ok people so I'll just leave you with this how are the lads